Every so often, we are able to witness once-in-a-generation talents. Although still incredibly young, Joseph Sawali may be next to add to that list of generational talent. Standing at 196 centimetres and weighing 96 kilograms, Suwali has been labelled a cross between Sonny Bill Williams and Greg Inglis, an incredible comparison for someone so incredibly young. His talent made him the subject of a cross-code battle between Rugby League and Rugby Union. He was reportedly offered 300000 from Rugby Union Australia, while the South Sydney Rabbitohs offered him a whopping three-year $1.7 million deal, which is the richest teenage contract ever in either code. He's a player that defines normal sporting logic. Many star athletes work their way up in their own age group, with few very talented players lucky enough to even get a start at 19 or 20 years old. Suwali, on the other hand, has defined the notion of age throughout his young career. At 14, he would not only play for the King's School's first 15 in the AAGPS competition, but he would impress against players three to four years his elder. He drew comparisons to Israel Folau with his play style and matches Folau's height of 192 centimetres at only the age of 15, and this was two years ago. Yes, you heard that right, two years ago. Suwali's so interest also expanded outside the rugby codes, considering he played basketball and AFL exceedingly well. In fact, he would represent New South Wales in rugby league, rugby union, basketball, and AFL. Incredible, right? He was able to dunk in his early teens and was recognised by current Sydney Swans AFL coach John Longmire as the best athlete he has seen at that age. At just 12, he was recognised by art dealer Steve Natsky in a basketball game, and he was in awe of his athletic ability and size, pleading with the South Sydney Rabbitohs to sign Suwali. Of course, at 12 years old, this isn't possible, but South would acquire him into their junior program. Since joining South, he has dominated. In his last season playing in the Harold Matthews Cup, he would amass in just nine matches, 15 tries, six try assists, 14 line breaks, 11 break assists, 84 tackle breaks, 10 offloads, and 1,028 run meters, averaging 114 a game. I mean, look at these highlights. It's not hard to see why. He would also make the Australian schools an under-18 side in rugby union, playing the side that won for their first time in seven years against New Zealand on tour. He has been projected to play for the Wallabies before he even hits 18, meaning that he could be an Olympian in the next year. Now it is clear Joseph Sawali has elite potential, but we must put into perspective that he's nearly 17 years old, and he's had to deal with huge amounts of publicity since he has started high school. He was in a position where he had to evaluate contracts worth hundreds of thousands of dollars in his teens, when many of us aren't even sure what to do with our own tax returns. He's also the subject of a rule change that will decrease the age requirement to play in the NRL to 17. Hopefully the sports media will allow Sawali to ease into the NRL. Whether he is exceptional or awful in his first season, we should not be too quick to judge. We must put not just Sawali, but any up and coming superstar situation into perspective. Yes, these guys will be professional athletes, which many might view as enough to criticize them as any other NRL player, but we then risk harming the potential of these athletes. We know they are physically mature by the giftedness of many young talents, but we have no understanding of the mental maturity of these youngsters. For Suwali as an individual, he may be incredibly mature mentally and would not be bothered by criticisms, but we don't know that, and there is a reason to an 18 and above limit for the NRL. This video's purpose is to highlight the once in a lifetime potential of Joseph Suwali, but also as a precaution that we don't demoralize our up and coming talents. It's going to be incredibly exciting to see what Joseph Sawali can achieve throughout his career.